Hi, my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be talking about swatching and trying on some of the new ColourPop X Naruto collection. Let me begin with my disclaimer. Uh, if you saw a couple of my videos, I have active mebomian gland dysfunction. I should not be putting anything on my eyes. Here's how I'm going to do this today. This is not how I want to be doing my video. I want to do my video the way I normally do, but it's already somewhat risky for me to be putting makeup on in the way that I'm going to be doing it. So nothing is going to go on this eye that has all the problems. On this eye, I'm going to be doing crease, brow bone, and inner corner. I'm keeping it away from the mebomian glands, which are here and in the lid. I did ask my optometrist about this. Um, of course, like I said, this is not risk-free, but this should be fine. And I'm sorry, there's not going to be a wear test. Once it's on, you see what it looks like and see how it performs in application. I am taking it all off and scrubbing every <laughs> millimeter of myself to decrease the chances that it will cause some kind of reaction. If my ophthalmologists are watching this, I'm sorry. I love Naruto so much and the no makeup is killing me. Please still treat me when something goes wrong, <laughs> when, if something goes wrong, and continue to be nice to me when I cry in your office like you always are. So, like I said, do not try this at home. Jokes aside, okay? I did talk to a doctor. I'm gonna do this in the best way possible, but that does not mean this is risk-free for someone with my condition. First, I'm going to do thoughts and swatches. So here's the palette. This packaging is gorgeous. I, th the blue and the orange, of course, I mean, if you're a fan, the, you know, Asian inspired swirls and, the, and these little guys here, this is gorgeous. However, shade names on the back, just so you see. The inside, as we've all seen online, is lackluster. So we have our trio up here. This is clearly like season one, maybe two of Naruto, like a little into it. Sakura has not changed her outfit or cut her hair. <sighs> this, it's, some of it, I don't know why it's here. <laughs> some of it, it, it's just very muted. Some of it makes sense. I feel like most of these shades match to the names they were given, but why some of these were in here, I don't know. Naruto is like my second favorite show of all time, a very close second to Avatar The Last Airbender. So I'm going to be hard on this, harder than I, I would be. I, I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't get it. So I forget what video it was, but when I did, I don't know, a review of something else I was doing, I had said, like, I would be so excited if they came out with a Naruto collection. And I was throwing out some ideas. And this definitely falls short of what I was thinking. And it's not to say the way I was thinking was the only way to do it or was perfect, but this definitely misses the mark. Whereas the Avatar collection, I thought, mainly hit the mark. You could have easily done a quad for Naruto, a quad for Sasuke. You could have done an easy black, white, purple, blue. Um, here you could have done maybe, I don't know, orange, yellow, and red, or maybe yellow and two shades of orange, and then like a pop of blue, something. And then for Sakura, you could have done a blush palette, perhaps, so reds and pinks and then maybe like a highlighter to go with it. There were definitely things. I mean, there's characters missing. The only three you see in this collection are these guys here, which is fine, but then the execution, I think, should have been different. And I think, judging by a lot of the comments I saw um, on the internet, along with my own, I think a lot of us Naruto fans are in agreement here. So without further ado, we have Byakugan, okay? This makes sense. This is like a white shimmer with like a little bit of a silver cast. That makes sense. Copy Ninja, this is a matte with the sequins in it. Um, at least this matches Kakashi's hair. 
I don't know how well that one's going to perform, but the color and the uh, name makes sense. Hidden Leaf Village being a goldeny champagne. I'm not quite sure as to why that pairing is made, likely because ColourPop wanted to put in a neutral and needed a name to kind of go with it. And then we have Ramen Ichiraku, which it's like a beige with like a little hint of rose. Again, this is a matte with the sequins in it. I don't, I think ramen is a little more that color, but matte <laughs> than this. Again, I think this was ColourPop's way of getting another neutral in there to put with a Naruto name. So there's the first four. Then we have Sakura, which is a pale pink shimmer. This one makes sense. I think this is really pretty. Um, doesn't look like it's terribly pigmented. I have to say all of these seem very sheer and not just because they're light. Like I can see like through them to my skin if that makes any sense. Like there's like gaps in the pigment. I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Hidden Stone Village makes sense. I'm sure Colourpop loved putting this one in. Um, Rasengan, which, yeah, this is, whew, that's beautiful. Um, it's a glitter. I would say the Rasengan should have been a lighter blue glitter, but at least I hope that it's the, um, like, the better glitter formula, like the one they've been using lately in the palettes that I feel is a lot better. Um, they used it in the Alice in Wonderland palette, and I thought it was good quality. Nine Tails. This one makes sense. Could it have been a little bit more orange? Of course it could have, but I think that one's pretty. Sharingan. I don't know. Um, this We've seen this color a lot. It definitely looks like the one from the Avatar palette, um, and the Avatar palette was also not the first palette to have this color. Um, I feel like for Sharingan it should have been redder, brighter, but not terrible. Hidden Sand Village, again, <laughs> that makes Colourpop excited to put a beige. There's the first two rows. I would say these are definitely more pigmented than that first row. So what do we got here? 15 shades? Yeah. Jonin. This one's perfect. Okay, that's the color of the Jonin vest there. A nice matte, like army green kind of color. I like that a lot. Hidden Mist Village. I mean, this is... don't know how well that's gonna go, but it's a nice color. It's like a bluish green. Hero. I mean, okay. <laughs> Gold. I mean, Naruto's hair. It makes sense, but... I feel like there could have been more, maybe. Kaze Kage. Here's the thing. Does this match Gara's, like, outfit in Shippuden? Yeah. But why one Kage in this whole thing? And, like, if this is season one, maybe season two, bringing in something from Shippuden doesn't even make sense. I mean... Correct me if I'm wrong. Am I am I missing something there? And Hidden Cloud Village. I don't see why that would be brown. But okay. <laughs> you know, again, it's ColourPop trying to put some more browns in a palette. So, like I said, I most of the names match what they're saying. But, I don't know. Why put... Did you need the five villages in here? Or could you have done maybe other characters? Or there's there's other ways that this could have went that likely would have been better. I mean, heck, you could have made another Sakura one. I don't know. I feel like even that would have fit better. <laughs> or just done like Gara's hair or something, but bring in more characters. I don't know. I mean... Maybe there was something in their contract, only do season one or something. I, 
I don't know. These are my thoughts. As always, I think the most stunning thing in this collection, and I, I haven't tried anything on yet, I'm only looking at things and swatching things, is this here, the trio of the Super Shock Shadows. Again, the packaging is gorgeous with one little flaw, and I'll point that out in a moment. So we have the three. Look at this. This is so cool. And I think they did a good job matching these. So here's the Naruto one, just called Naruto Uzumaki. I mean, it's got the little clouds everywhere. It's, this is really cool. And then the Super Shock itself, or rather the container, is orange. And so here's the flaw, right? It has the hidden leaf symbol on it, whereas the other two have the clan symbols. I mean, I guess that's not a huge deal, but like, it totally could have been Naruto's clan symbol. I know it's in there, but, you know, just, this is not the big problem in this collection, okay? Um, so when you open this up, that is so beautiful. It is a like golden yellow and orange marbleized shadow. Let's, let's try this. Um, I kind of want to try to get both sides of it, like a more yellow side and a more orange side. Can we really tell the difference? This one's more yellow. That one's more orange, but not like by a lot. So I mean, I, I think this is perfect. Then we have Sasuke Uchiha. I wish I could put Sasuke Uchiha all over my eyelids. Uh, <laughs> I, you know how I feel about blue eyeshadow. So we got his little clan symbol on here and the container is blue. Look at this. And we got like a light blue, dark blue marble going on in here. This one is more blended than the other one. So I don't know if I'll get two distinct colors. So I'm gonna try to like stick over here where it's lighter and then go over here where it's darker. Yeah. Kind of, you, know, you could kind of see that mm. on the like the actual swatch to my arm. I don't think I don't think there's really a difference with that one. And then we have Sakura Harano, who also has her clan symbol on here. The Super Shock case is the color of her dress. And then inside, it's a pink and red marble. Again, I just think these three are genius and gorgeous. Uh, let me see if I can, if I get more of the red up here, and then more of like the light pink over here. Very slight difference. You see like a, like a deeper pink versus like the kind of red. So... I don't know. I know these aren't fantastic swatches, but <laughs> far from it. But I just want to see if there's like a difference, you know? I like when they do these marble things, but I I wish the marble was more distinct just so you can get more variety out of it. Like for example, the this is the Cora one, the Super Shock highlighter. And I can definitely change up my look. You see that I've been in all different parts of it. If I put my finger here versus here versus here. So I think that's kind of a nice idea. I wish they would marbleize them or maybe not, maybe anti-marbleize them, like separate the colors just a little bit more. This one here, the ColourPop, um, what was it? The Lavish Love Lilac, I don't know, something or other. This one is more blended, so you see I've only really been in one area because you kind of can't get distinct shades out of this one. Then we have the three eyeliners. I mean, I am not the first one to say this. They missed the opportunity to do Gara eyeliner, <laughs> okay? Th they could have actually have gotten away with black eyeliner and nobody would have complained <laughs> because if they had put it like, this is Gara's eyeliner. Whatever. Um, not that these are bad, but, like, opportunity missed, you know? Um, so this is the Naruto one, and they call it Ninja Way. 
which, you know, that makes sense. But they really just could not help themselves and not do a brown. It's like a, it's like a coppery, shimmery brown. These, unfortunately, I definitely cannot try out. These are not safe for me. Can we see that? What does it look like in real life? It's nothing special. I don't know. I, it almost has like a little bit of a, like a cool toned grayish base with the coppery and brown glitter flecks in it. I mean, maybe if you love neutrals, this is something special. For me who doesn't, it's not. Um, then we have, did I say these are the creme gel liners, by the way? They are. Uh, then we have the Sasuke one, and they went a little dark with this one. <laughs> they called it Revenge. Like, in the middle of this whole collection that is so, like, just kind of lackluster and character-based, like, more appearance-based, they picked Revenge to be this one. I don't know. I think that's a little interesting. Um, it's, it's a muted blue. I think it basically matches the super shot color. I mean, if they were going to do that, why didn't they make an orange shimmery eyeliner just be Naruto's? I, I don't know. I have a lot of, as Angeshka says, I have, a, I have thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> Again, it's more muted. It's got like a very muted base with the little glitter flecks in it. And I would say that just about matches the Super Shock. Then we have the Sakura one, and this one's called Courage. I don't know why, you tell me. Because <laughs> there are a lot of things we could have named it. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, if anything, love, maybe, you know, um, it's, it's a, it's a pink shocker. No, that does go with it. I think this basically matches the super shock as well. Like I said, so that kind of just makes me confused about, that's a, these are terrible swatches. Um, I'd say I'm out of practice, but it's, it's just me. Yeah, it's lighter. I mean, it's pretty. Is pretty. Then we have the one lip product. Really, at a time where I can't wear eyeshadow. <laughs> and, like, all the other collections where it's like, I want, like, all eye things. This is the collection that is basically all eye things. It's a palette, it's three super shocks, it's three eyeliners, and then it's, like, one lip oil, <laughs> no cheek products, not even skincare, um, and, like, one glitter that... I guess it's for your face. I still don't understand the glitterly obsessed things. Um, well, well, it sucks to be me. But uh, the, the, the one lip product is a Luxe lip oil. They should have done... <laughs> this This whole video is going to be... They should have done... Like a... I know this is basic, but like a neutral lipstick and a bold lipstick. But take colors like from the characters. I mean, it probably would have been similar to... Like the Avatar, this is the original Avatar one, right? A like corally neutral one versus like a bright red one. I don't know. I mean, make make the lips like Kurenai or something or make like a bold orange for Naruto and then have like a neutral and a dark or something. I don't know. So anyway, here's the packaging. It's cute. I've never tried the lip oils. It's a corally beige with, or like a, like a pumpkin-y beige, if that makes sense. Um, like there is a slight orange to it, but it's not orange. And it's got gold flecks through it. I mean, it's pretty, but it's named Chakra. I have no idea why. <laughs> Just because, let's put a Naruto name on something. And also, if you notice, at least on mine, the symbols are upside down. Like the Leaf Village symbols. You'd have to go like that. I don't know. So, let's see what we got here. I don't know what to make of that. Like I said, I've never tried the lip oils before. 
don't know. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks like it's going to go with everything. But I just, I don't get it. Maybe they should have done, like, I know that's super basic and, like, everyone's doing it right now. But maybe they should have done a, like, one of those pH things, like, where it starts blue and then turns, like, pink or something. Because at least, like, with the chakra, that may, it would have made more sense. I don't know. And then the last thing is the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter. And it's called Gold Dust. You want to tell me why? Because I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with anything. This is a, I mean, this is cute. Look, here's the Uzumaki clan symbol that they could have put on the Super Shock. It's a basic gold glitter. I don't understand it. I don't know why it's in this collection. I don't know why. I don't know. If anything, maybe it should have been a light blue and call it Rasengan? I, I don't know, because, I mean, they could have done little, like, I, I think they've done ones with, like, stars, right? So, like, they could have done, like, little shurikens, like, the little ninja throwing stars. Like, that would have been fun. That would have been something different if they, like, really had to do a glitter, if they seriously had to do one. Um, I mean, one of the promos that they put up, like, on their Instagram, Colourpop, it was, like, shine like Naruto in this, like, when did he ever shine? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Um, if he did, it's it's not like this. I mean, maybe with the... The red, the, the red tails. <laughs> Help me. The nine tails chakra or something. Or like, you know, Guy and Lee when they do like the noble blue beast stuff. I mean, this I don't get. It's... It's a gold glitter. The name? They didn't even try to go Naruto on this one. Um, I asked a friend who's a Naruto fan, and I'm like, am I missing something? Is is there possibly a time they mentioned gold dust in Naruto? And he said the only thing he could think of was Gara's father using, like, the gold dust. I don't think Colourpop thought that far. It doesn't make sense anyway if they're only doing, like, a season one based collection, one that's based on Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. Doesn't make sense, and I don't think they went that far. So, here are all the swatches for everything. Let's get this show on the road, and then let's get it all off of my eye. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Just be nice about it. You don't have to be nice about the collection, but please be nice to me. Look at this mess. There, I can't get it off. <laughs> I'm really gonna have to scrub that. I'm definitely not trying out the glitter. Here it is. You could see it. You could see it from everywhere. I'm shining like Naruto, as Colourpop says. And of course, I have my Naruto and Sasuke shirt on for the video. Um, these are from Shippuden, obviously, but the collection's all mixed up anyway, so who cares? First thing I'm going to do is take the lip oil, just because my lips are dry. So, chakra. Let's see what this is like. I can't describe the smell. I, have, I don't know how I got the glitter on my face, too. Ridiculous. Hmm. So, the swatch and in here looks way more pigmented than it is. I mean, I know it's a lip oil, but just based on the appearance... It looked like it was gonna do more, but yeah. So I I get this even less than I already got it before. I could try to put some more on. That's like way too much though. Let's see. Try to have a little color in it. But then it's like 
super gloppy. I mean, not sticky gloppy, but definitely gloppy. It's hard to tell if I can actually see the little glitters in it, or is it just because I got the glitter on myself? Well, I thought I might actually like this, and I thought that, you know, th this is something I can actually wear right now. But there goes that, because I don't, I don't care for that at all. Now, for the palette, I don't know how many looks I'm going to do, but here's a thought. Maybe I can try using some of these as cheek products, and that way I can use more things. And you can use more things, too. I think I'm going to start with mixing Hidden Stone Village and Hidden Sand Village and try to create, like, a bronzer. If you're deeper, I would go with Hidden Cloud Village. Let's see if this works. So I'm taking my Too Faced Mr. Bright brush. Let's do it. Yeah, that's definitely doable. And then depending on if you want it warmer or cooler, you can play between the two. And of course, deeper, you can put in uh, Hidden Cloud Village. Honestly, even on me, this is pretty light. Makes me wonder what it would do on the eyes, you know? Maybe not much. But then again, it would be, you know, it wouldn't be like blended out so much. I told you, I feel like this palette is not going to be like the high quality of ColourPop. You know what, I'm going to take my Moda contour brush and do that same mix and I'm going to do that to get the, like, the forehead and the temples. See if that helps. Yeah, I think so. I've certainly had to get creative with my eye issues. Look at that, creating my own face products from the collection. Also, why was there not a Rockley brow product? It didn't have to be like a black like eyeliner pen or something, but I don't know, just a, even a clear gel and name it like, you know, Rockley's fix or something. I don't know. That would have been more fun, at least. Okay. Also, I mean, you didn't think I was going to waste time using, like, the neutrals on my eyes, right? When I have, like, such limited <laughs> eye use to begin with. Okay. Then, maybe I'll try Sharingan as a blush. Why not? I'm going to do my Ooh. Yeah, that might work. I'm gonna use my Mr. Right brush from Too Faced. Let's see. Hey, not too shabby. I'm making a mess of the palette, but ColourPop already made a mess of it, right? That wasn't nice. I also did make a mess, so I'm just going to fix some of this with my trusty Maybelline Fit Me powder, as I usually do if I make a mess with my face products. But yeah, I like that. Let's make the Sakura eyeshadow shade a highlighter. See, this is what they should have done. Yep, I like that. Okay, now for the nerve-wracking part for me. <laughs> I'm going to take my Too Faced Smudger Brush from the Mr. Right Eye Brush Collection. I'm going to start with Copy Ninja, the gray, and I'm going to put this up here, like close to my brow bone, kind of like a transition. Meanwhile, I said I was going to put it, like, in here, right? And look, it's falling all onto my eyelid. So as soon as I'm done with this, it's all coming off. Sad story, but that's what we're doing. To stay as safe as possible 
aside from not doing this at all. Okay, so that's super sheer, super light. Um, probably the best way to use this shade is just packed on the lid. Not thrilling. Then I'm going to take the same brush and go into Jonine, the Army Green, or the Jonine Vest Green, and I'm going to put this in my crease. That is also getting all over my lid. <laughs> Gonna blend it out. This is gorgeous. This is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of one of the shades in the Raw Beauty Christie collab. Not as pigmented, but honestly, I like this better. I found that palette a little hard to work with. Like hard to blend out. It was like super pigmented. So I think I kind of like this better. Then I'm going to take my little brush here, my BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it, and I'm going to go into Hidden Mist Village. And I'm going to put that tighter in my crease. Honestly, this shade is similar to one of the shades in that palette too. Again, less pigmented. Kind of losing the other colors. I mean, that first one, I mean, we lost that as fast as we lost Neji, am I right? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. All right, um, I'm gonna use the smudger brush again and go back into Jonine and <laughs> try to bring that back a little bit. I have a very dark sense of humor, even for things and people I love, so. All right, I'm gonna just blend that out a little bit and then I'm gonna go back with the BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it and try to deepen on the, the outer portion here. The, what is this? Hidden Mist Village. Well, honestly, I feel like the formula quality is not quite there. I know this looks weird because, you know, my lid isn't <laughs> done, but I, I think the opinion would be the same. I'm just gonna brush this away. I would love to try this glitter. That is definitely not safe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Sasuke Uchiha uh, Super Shock and I'm going to put that on the inner. See, I'm going to try to take some of the lighter portion and I'm going to put that on the inner corner. So I don't know if it's because I'm putting it in a different spot than like, you know, would normally be the case. Um, or is it just not that pigmented? I'm gonna see if I could blend that up into here. Like I said, I know this definitely looks weird, but sorry, it's the best I can do right now. It's not that, I don't think it's me. I think it's not that pigmented. Even from the swatches, like you, like the glitters are bright, but the pigment underneath, can you see that it's like not there and like kind of murky? Hmm. I don't know. Should I, should I, I, I can't use an eyeliner, like that's not safe, but can I do something with it? Like put it over here or something? I don't know. What would I do with it? kind of make like a false wing. It looks stupid. <laughs> I tried though. Um, so I've tried one of everything, right? I think, unfortunately, this collection is a bust. I'm not crazy about the performance. I have a feeling if I did a wear test, 
this would be like fading away or blending together pretty easily. I'm not impressed and for a lot of reasons and it's you know it's disappointing because like I said Naruto is second only to Avatar in my life and this is also super loved by me so yeah do I think you could probably manage absolutely make you know fun looks out of it and such yeah but I don't think it embodies the Naruto franchise overall and I do think the quality is lacking too. Let me know your thoughts. You probably have a better idea than I do because I'm not able to use this in the normal way. But you know what? Hey, at least I can... I, I do like it as a face product. I do. So, not a total loss, I guess. And if it's disappointing, I mean, would I have worn it anyway? Absolutely, because it's Naruto. But I guess it's not so bad that I can't wear this. Hello, I forgot <laughs> one thing I- one more thing I could do. I'm gonna take my dollar store brush and go into Byakugan and use that as my brow bone highlight. Ooh, that one's pretty. That will make a nice highlighter for my face. <laughs> um, maybe I can start wearing some stuff up here or over here after a bit, even if I'm not wearing anything here. Yeah, that one's pretty. Um, I think all over the lid, if you packed it on, maybe, because it's definitely sheer, but it does have a sheen to it, so I definitely like it as a brow bone highlight. Okay, so, yesterday's look, right? Obviously, I can't tell you how it wore. I could tell you how the face face products wore um, well. And let me just say that the lip oil, it's not, let me reiterate, it's not the texture that I'm unhappy with. I actually really like the texture. It's the fact that there's like, I mean, there's the, the slightest hint of color to it where I feel like there should have been at least... You know, it should have at least come out the color that it is, but I guess that's not how a lip oil works. But then maybe they should have done a gloss. Okay, so, I mean, I'll be happily using this as a face palette <laughs> for the time being. Um, but I did realize there was something I didn't do that I normally would, and that is use an eyeshadow primer. I can't do that. Um, that would definitely be riskier for me. Um, that would risk clogging my mabomian glands and irritating my blepharitis and such. So I'm not going to do that, but I will keep that in mind while I do this second look. Do I think that it would have made a lot of difference Whoops, with this? Honestly, I don't. Um, yes, I'm still Jessica and have no idea what I'm doing, but I feel like over time I have come to learn like when you touch an eyeshadow, like sometimes, it, this isn't always, but sometimes you can tell, like with the texture, like like these guys here, is it going to be powdery? Is it not that pigmented? Is it dry? Is it going to be patchy like this one here? And this one I think is totally going to be like that as well. Maybe I know a little more than I think I do. And I think that's the case with this here. Um, By now, I didn't watch any other videos before I did the first impression, but now I did, and people do seem to be in agreement with me, so, or vice versa, I'm in agreement with them. So, uh, I think I am right, you know, is, is that bad? Is it unworkable? No. But is it, you know, the, say, usual color pop quality? Also, no. So today what I'm going to do... I already put on the bronzer, <laughs> which is Hidden Sand Village and Hidden Stone Village mixed. Um, actually today I used, I did use this brush, but I used um, more of this brush here. So 
you could see it's a little more defined and a little deeper. Not this side because that's where my window is always. This side is always lighter. Um, and I think I liked it better with the fluffy brush, but you know, that's personal preference. I think it's definitely doable as a bronzer. For today's blush, instead of using Sharingan, I'm going to use Nine Tails. Uh, I still just can't believe I'm saying that. Like, this is just so exciting to me that Naruto has makeup, and unfortunately, it's just so disappointing in how this went. Like, where's the bright orange? Where's the bright red? I, eh. There's so much blue in here, and there's one brightish royal blue. Anyway, we're moving on. I'm going to take my Too Faced Mr. Right brush and go into Nine Tails. So I think this is going to be like an orangey, shimmery blush. Coppery, kind of. Oh, I like that. I like that. Wow. In the camera, it looks way worse than it is in person. It's not that... Um, like, I feel like I look more like I have orange dirt on my face in the camera. And in person, it's like an ambery, shimmery blush. Let me see if I could blend that out a little more. I don't think I should put any more on than this. But I think it's pretty. I like this. Try to, <laughs> try to blend that out. Um, I think I am going to enjoy this palette, like I said, as a face palette, while I can't use eyeshadow. Don't ask me what techniques I'm using here. I don't know. My name is Jessica, and I have no idea what I'm doing. But I like that. I do. Um, then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take Hero, this bright gold, and that's going to be my highlight, my face highlight. I'm going to take a little bit... Ooh, so pretty. I'm going to take that uh, with my finger here and just kind of kind of blend it on the top. This is definitely better if you have a deeper skin tone, <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. We all know that. Yeah, too dark for me, but if you have a deeper skin tone, or if I lightened that up with, you can't see it. Um, I can see it. I'll try to show you in the natural lighting. If I mixed it with Hidden Leaf Village, I'm sure it would be fine. But I want to save Hidden Leaf Village for my brow bone today. So here we go again. I'm going to take I'm going to take my IBY crease brush this time. Uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to take Ramen Ichiraku, which is like that rosy beige with the glitters in it. It's so powdery. Look at this. And that's going to be my transition. I feel like this one's definitely performing better than, um, say the beiges or the green, maybe. No, well, maybe about as good as the green. But of course, keep in mind this one is pretty light and it is powdery. And I'm going to take that all the way down into the crease. And then, of course, after this, I'm going to wash this all off. <laughs> and when I say wash, I mean scrub. Then I'm going to take Kaze Kage, which I'm still wondering where they got this connection. It's... I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to put this in the crease. All right. You know what? This one is actually smoother than I thought it was going to be. And I think it's because I used it with Ramanichi Raku. I'm guessing any lighter beigey shade is going to help with this. So, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to take it like all the way in meaning like over here too. I wasn't going to originally, but now I am. All right, actually that's nice. Um, like I said, I think it needs to be paired with 
something because I think if you just try to use this one alone, it's going to be like dry and patchy. I, I'm going to try to make that a little bit deeper. I'm going to go with my, what is this? My BH Cosmetics brush with a six on it. And I'm going to try to really pack that in. So like this one, I would say is maybe better than the Raw Beauty Christie one because it is blending better. Ugh, I wish I could wear this. I wish I could wear this on my eyes. All right, I was a little harsh. Like I said, my overall opinion still stands, but it's definitely more workable and enjoyable than I first thought. That's nice. All right, now, I'm going to take Naruto Uzumaki, the Super Shock Shadow, and this is going to go on the... There there went the collection. Falling. <laughs> I'm going to take it... I'm going to take it more from the orange side. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner here. I still feel like this could be more, say, pigmented and shiny. Like, see what's happening? When I turn, right, this part is, like, illuminating. But when I turn back this way, see how it's going dark? And I feel like not all of the Super Shocks do that. I feel like some of them are just luminous all the way through. And I feel like you can still see my skin through this one, and I feel like an orange would be... Like, not as um, translucent. So I still feel like there's room for improvement here. They're considering this one an ultra glitter. So I guess, you know, I guess it wouldn't be more pigmented then. But um, I think we've all seen, like, the different categories of Super Shock Shadows don't always match how they perform. So while this is pretty, let me see if I, you know what, let me take some of the golden, the more golden part. Yeah, not really much difference. Let me just try to blend this in then. So it doesn't look like I just have an orange streak. Yeah. I mean, again, this is not how people would be wearing it, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. Then I'm taking my dollar store brush, and I am going to take Hidden Leaf Village. This little champagne-y color, which I'm sure is going to be fine because ColourPop does the champagnes really well. Yeah. And this is going to be my brow bone highlight, which can definitely be a face highlight if I want it. And if you want it, I think for any skin tone. I do wonder if this guy here, the Sakura Harano Ultra Glitter, so are they all ultra glitters? Yeah, they are. So I wonder if this one here could be used as a blush or a highlight or something. I'm sure it could, and that would be another way to use this collection for me and for everyone. Um, this could probably be used as a highlighter, too, for someone with a deeper skin tone. Uh, this guy here, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna make a heart or something. <laughs> just, just to use another, you know, product. I can't tell if this one is just, like, extra light or not as creamy or both. Probably the best use for this one would be, like, right here. Oh, we went this far. Might as well use this one. <laughs> Let's have a little uh, Sasu Saku moment. That's pretty. See, I like that with the blue. Like how it's, um, how do I say this? That same thing where, like, see where I turn and it's, like, dark and flat, and then I turn again and it's got the shimmer? I like that for a blue eyeliner. 
like you know because eyeliner usually has some kind of depth to it but the other stuff yeah no i want to i want to shine like naruto all the time i already did this cheek with the the palette but you know what let's do it and then that way i will have really shown you just everything except for all right, well, we can't have that happen then. We're gonna, I'm going to show you everything. So, oh, I got the glitter all over me again. I hate that stuff. That one, sorry. It's really not safe for me. <laughs> um, but I'll take this brush here, my Too Faced Mr. Right brush. Let's go in here and see what we get. Let's go into Sakura Harano. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Nice. Okay. Um, let me just see with my finger what happens. I think the brush worked really well. But let's see. For me, who's super messy <laughs> and puts too much blush on, I think I should stick with the brush. But... If you like more control and have more control, then I think you could do your finger. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. So look at me. I got some new face products, some Naruto face products. And let's take it then. Let's take the Naruto Uzumaki. I'm going to go into the more golden side. And let's put a little of this up here and see what happens. I mean, I sheared it out so it's more like a orangey golden, like just glitter sheen now. This is going to be fun, I think, um, if you want to get creative with how you're really using it. So what did I say? The only parts that I haven't tried at all. All right, let's try Hidden Cloud Village. I'm going to use my uh, fluffy brush from Wish. It's an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of it as I like start <laughs> really going into it. And let's see. Oof. Yeah. Okay. So obviously <laughs> for me, this is way too dark, but if you have a deeper skin tone, could you use this as a bronzer or contour? You absolutely could. So I'm going to try to just blend that out a little more with my contour brush. I mean, I'm going to take all this off anyway, but That looks terrible on me but if you're deeper it won't look terrible on you it'll look good on you and then the only other thing i have here that i haven't tried is rasengan i would love to put this all over my eyes but even the thought of it makes me so nervous it makes my eye hurt so uh i don't know what am i gonna do with this eyebrow glitter that's where it's going That's kind of fun, right? If you're thinking I've finally, like, really lost my mind, you're right. You're correct. Wow. That's way too blue for eyebrow glitter. <laughs> Unless you're, you're, like, really into that. Um, alright. Let me just put a little bit of it in the heart. And then I have to go wash this off super carefully. This is not a good idea. For me. That gold glitter, sorry, no. That was all over me for like a day, no. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this cleared up some things for you the best that I could, given my situation. 
like I said, my, my overall thoughts, is this an awful collection? No. Is it a good collection? <laughs> also no. But it's workable. Um, if you like Naruto, and if you're not super mad at, like, look some of the colors, the names, whatever, it's not the worst thing there is. Not the best thing there is, but it's not the worst thing there is. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time. Believe it.